What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. Today we're doing something a little different, taking a step aside from the competitive stuff, mainly because we're going into a new format. Nobody cares about Regulation E anymore. We need to worry about the Indigo Disc and what is coming in the Indigo Disc. So, competitive video tomorrow. I'm actually recording this like hours before the launch of the DLC because I want to talk about some things in the Indigo Disc that I think should be coming to the game. Not that this, they necessarily are, but things that I think they should have had at the start that just aren't there yet and i want to talk about these features and why i think they're important so i've got five items here that i think need to be added in the scarlet and violet dlc the indigo disc we're going to discuss them all here today now these are just my opinions if you guys think of anything else that you would like to see added in the indigo disc that hasn't already been confirmed be sure to leave a comment leave a like hit the subscribe button if you're into competitive pokemon content because i post daily competitive pokemon content every single day and all the likes comments and all that fun stuff are super appreciated because it helps push these videos out to people that may also be interested in watching this so let's get into this list number one and i think i've ranked these in an appropriate order of how they are and a level of importance to everybody versus just a competitive player so first and foremost number one on my list i want a daycare i am sick and tired of having to masuda shiny hunt with this stupid picnic system this is the worst breeding experience i have ever had in a pokemon game and i am tired of it i have not bred one single masuda shiny pokemon because i hate the fact that i can't just keep walking around while my eggs are getting made like i used to be able to in sword and shield no i have to sit there and wait for half an hour and occasionally check the basket and then just go walk around after that it is bad i hate it and i i there's nothing redeemable about it i am not a fan give me back a daycare with a little lady or an old man that stands there and they do some sort of arm cross or something that indicates i have an egg i can rotate back around grab the egg and keep on trucking that is a much better experience please for all that is good and holy <laughs> give me a daycare back number two i think this one is fair for a lot of people as far as pokemon games go i think we need more end game content now if you played scarlet violet you played the dlc you played teal mask um there's really not a whole lot to do uh if you're not into shiny hunting competitive battling or raids however i do think they are working in a step in the right direction with this particular dlc there is yet to be confirmed to be any sort of interactive uh, experience like dynamax adventures which i am a touch disappointed by i thought dynamax adventures added a lot of replay value to the end game of sword and shield i thought it was a fantastic system and i was really hoping they would find a way to iterate on it and bring it into the indigo disc it doesn't look like that's the case granted there is a lot we still don't know about the indigo disc so maybe they snuck something in there for us to try but it just doesn't look like that is going to be the case however they have announced these like daily quest systems called bbqs or blueberry quests that you're able to get from your classmates and from uh teachers at the blueberry academy and these are going to allow you to go out and get bp which we are assuming will be able to spend bp on a bunch of other fun stuff in the dlc perhaps items which is really solid for competitive players or there is other options like decorating your room things like that so i think this is going to make a more solid end game loop but i'm hoping there is additional content outside of just doing the same daily quest over and over and over and i hope that the rewards for the daily quest are actually worth doing like there's some Thing that is actually worth the amount of re repetitiveness because daily quests are repetitive doesn't matter what game it is it's not an exclusive thing to pokemon um hopefully the rewards are worth the effort we put into them and we actually get some cool stuff from this and like i said hopefully there's something else that will give us some end game content that'll be fun to play because i think that is something that scarlet and violet base game and the teal mask are just sorely lacking number three better economy i think the economy in this game is pretty poor i think they did slightly improve it in the teal mask because there were just so many more shiny objects on the ground for you to pick up and sell however other than like running around in circles picking up shinies or doing something uh like using a turbo controller to battle the uh tournament at the school over and over and over and over to get money this economy sucks i remember playing sword and shield and was over the moon at the economy because all you had to do was play the game and you made money you could do raids 
go and do the raids. You got the watts. You could trade the watts for the luxury balls, and you could sell the luxury balls. I had so many freaking watts that it didn't matter if I was low on money because I could spend them, get the luxury balls, sell the luxury balls. I had enough money. I could build as many competitive teams as I want. Now I have to go to bed at night and turn on my turbo controller to farm money at the uh, tournament at the school so i really hope they find something that's just a better solution for money farming in this game because it's just poor and it's not bad if you don't play competitive i won't i won't say like if you're just into the raids it's really not that bad however if you're somebody that's building a lot of competitive pokemon and you're making a lot of competitive teams you will burn through money like it's your day job so that's just my thought i think there needs to be a better economy for people that are making a lot of those competitive pokemon because you will burn through items so quickly and burn through that cash supply i really hope they find something that's a bit more fun or something that's just as rewarding as sword and shield was because i think sword and shield was perfect as far as economy goes number four this is for our competitive folks out there a broken bottle cap god almighty do we need a broken bottle cap honestly if we had a broken bottle cap i don't think there's any argument anymore for people to be genning pokemon other than the convenience of like saving time right because right now genning pokemon there are certain pokemon looking at things like enamorous enamorous is a pokemon that you have to beat an entire game just to catch then you have to move it into scarlet violet to then see its ivs that is a pokemon that is going to be commonly genned just because of the fact that it's very difficult to get the exact ivs that you're looking for because you can't soft reset it you have to play the game all over again so if we had a broken bottle cap a bottle cap that would simply turn an iv stat all the way down to zero like we have with the bottle caps turning them all the way up to six we would be in a perfect place there would be no reason anybody would ever have to gen because the, you could get the pokemon that you are looking for just max everything else out lower what you need with a broken bottle cap this is something so simple that i don't know why we don't have trick room is an archetype game freak you made this game why are we able to improve pokemon but not lower something to help an archetype of a different nature that doesn't make any sense why are we two three games because bottle caps were actually pdsp why are we three games into this and you haven't figured this out yet please for all that is good in arceus's domain <laughs> put in a broken bottle cap please this is just something that everybody wants and i genuinely think that if they add that problem solved competitive is in a perfect place if they do that because you can buy every item that you're looking for you can make any pokemon that you want there is it, it's just it's perfect there's nothing you can complain about at that point i mean outside of like the time restriction it takes because it will take you time still to breed the pokemon and do that this that or the other uh farm resources that you need to you know actually train the pokemon but as far as getting the correct pokemon there's nothing to complain about you can literally just do it finally we have number five on my list um i just want a better way to reset evs like there was just a person in sword and shield that we talked to and they were like bing bing boom bippity boppity boo you're done your, your pokemon's reset it doesn't exist in this game instead they did the reset mochi which is fine if you want to play the silly mini game over and over but i lost interest in doing that mini game very very quickly after i realized there was no online fe feature for it that wasn't like in a like coded group like the fact that i couldn't just queue up and party with random people to do the mini game i lost all interest in participating in that uh, what is it ogre austin i literally did it like three times and i was like this sucks without other people and i don't have time to find people to do this with so i just quit doing it so i hope they realize this and are like yeah that was kind of bad on our part here's something that can replace that that is more easily obtainable or here is literally just a person to talk to that will reset stuff i think that's just better honestly i i don't know why we don't just have like a random item it costs one poke dollar and it's like just it makes them forget all their evs i don't i don't get it i don't get it it just it's something so so simple and it, it's not just a competitive thing if you think about like the raid battles and pokemon that are good for the raid battles like especially like legendary builds that you might be doing like you may want to reset that legendary and use it for something different later and legendaries are while they are more common than they used to be they are still rare to especially to people that are just getting into pokemon so having that ability to reset that legendary and like move it to something else like super easily is something that i think is necessary so hopefully they fix this really really poor mistake but that is going to be it for this video guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below 
what do you want out of the dlc that i didn't maybe mention here let me know all that fun stuff but like i said that's it i just wanted to have a fun talking point video to kind of get everybody excited about the dlc think about what could potentially be hidden there this is the hidden treasures of area zero so maybe they got some hidden juicy bits for us honestly like we don't know any other pokemon outside of what we had seen originally when they announced the dlc like our chaludon uh is there anything else in this that we like obviously tarapa goes but I don't think there's anything else that we, and Reggie Bolt and Iron Crown, like the, all the stuff that we've already seen is there, but they have not shown anything else like Diplin's evolution or, uh, the Entei and Terrakian, uh, Paradox Pokemon. So there's so much hidden from us still. I just wanted to have a talking point video to kind of get people excited and get people talking about what they want out of this particular DLC. But like I said, that's it. If you enjoyed, leave a like and sub for more Pokemon content every single day. And if you want to see anything else from me, check out any of the videos that you see here on screen. Also, check out the Discord. People over there hanging out. They're very excited about the DLC over in the Discord. Everybody's talking about it today. So check that out. But that is it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.